All right, so last week we talked about that GTA leak. Somebody hacked into Rockstar Games, stole the source code for GTA 5, GTA 6, and then some gameplay of GTA 6. The FBI is looking into it now, but regardless, some of the information that ended up getting leaked, people have been looking through and trying to dig more information out of, obviously, because it's GTA 6. We all know that this game is basically like the generational game that everyone's hyped about. It doesn't matter. If someone's a gamer, they're probably at least a little bit hyped for GTA 6. I, I know I am. But someone going through it was able to make the map of what's going to be released in the game. And it's going to be quite a bit bigger than Los Santos, which is what we got in the last game. Which I'm grateful for. I just expected at this point the way the gaming industry was going that like they were going to make it really small and make me pay $10 for every street after that. Leaked GTA map coordinates reveal massive size of Vice City. I think if they were going to do like a small map they would have to add with DLC. There's just no option. I don't think people would take the same sized map very well. But I uh, definitely am going to enjoy the fact it looks like there's multiple cities on the map. There's like islands and whatnot. It looks like there's going to be a lot more different things. I know technically there's another city in GTA 5 if you go up to that like small town. But let's be honest, it's not really a city. The only place that has really anything going on is that main area down there, especially online. Like, if you go up to that small town on the left-hand side of the map or the top side of the map, if someone comes to mess with you, they're purposely coming to mess with you. People don't really go up there unless they want to be left alone or are doing a mission, and in that case, they probably want to be left alone. I think it'll also be fun to integrate it online and make it so hopefully there's more, like, places people can live that are nice. Same thing in GTA 5 that I was just talking about. Most of the houses that are not right in that downtown area are just garbage, so it's the most populated area of the map. As Rockstar scrambled to take the videos offline and the FBI launched an investigation, users began taking notes of areas seen in the footage, cross-referencing past games, and using coordinates in the leaked videos to help map out Vice City. Man, between this and the guy that has to be investigating, like NyQuil Chicken and whatnot on TikTok, there's so many government employees having to investigate, like, insane things. Obviously, GTA 6 is very valuable. I understand why they're going to get it investigated. It's like a billion-dollar franchise, a multi-billion-dollar franchise. They can't just have their servers being compromised and data being stolen and nothing happen. But the FBI's got to be looking into this dude who's probably just like a, a cool hacker guy, you know, straight out of the movies with all the monitors and keyboards and stuff. But they're looking into him and they're like, Sir, he's got a monitor that's dedicated to watching nothing but meme compilation videos all day. And his superior is like, You have to watch every video he's ever watched on that YouTube account. We need to see if there's any hidden messages. I'm sure the FBI is very thorough in the investigation. So could you imagine how much stupid stuff they're probably seeing on like people's computers? I just feel like our generation takes the internet a lot less seriously. Like, I just watch dumb YouTube videos all day while I'm making videos, documentaries, which I guess isn't dumb. But every now and then, dumb videos pop up. So, if someone was trying to watch everything I've watched, it would just be really boring and there'd be nothing to it. They're trying to look for a secret message in, like, an entire PewDiePie Let's Play from 2009. Vice City's map size becomes even more impressive when you factor in how notable Insider Tez2 suggested that GTA 6 will be adding new cities over time with single-player DLC, something unfortunately absent from GTA 5. Keep in mind, however, that the map could change and already may have changed drastically from what was leaked, so on release it could be different. In any case, once they finally share some official details on GTA 6, expect the map experts to get back to work and piece together this more modern day take on Vice City. I'm gonna be really cynical here, okay? I love how the game GTA 5 has been out for what? Close to a decade now? Over a decade? I don't know. Somewhere in that range. And they magically did not have the capability to uh, add anything like a city via DLC. That's crazy. That's out of the question. That would be unheard of. That's bonkers. But now that the new one's coming out, they're going to be adding a bunch of cities. It just goes to show how much they're milking us like a fat dairy cow. 
oh yeah, 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 we could have done this like 10 years ago. We just didn't feel like doing it because people were still buying shark cards out the wazoo. But now that everyone's starting to turn on us, we know that we have to take this next release very seriously. GTA is our main cash cow. Red Dead was good, but people don't really buy- I don't even know what the Red Dead shark card's called. Like, that just goes to show it. I, I can't even continue pretending to be Rockstar Games, because I don't even know what it's called. They need this next game to be a hit, so I know they're gonna take it seriously, but it's just kind of frustrating that they've wanted us to buy, uh, GTA 5, what, three different times now? 360, Xbox One, and the Xbox Series X. So, theoretically, if you just bought the Standard Edition not on sale, $180 worth of the same game, with like nothing really that major added in DLC map-wise. But we already know that the next one, off rip, they're gonna be adding a bunch of it. Ah, the gaming industry, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta love it. Either way, it'll be interesting when the game finally releases to compare it. I'm sure they're gonna change basically everything that got leaked, but I wanted to keep y'all in the loop on that. 